Ready when y'all are. Okay. Welcome, this is Forrest with Ladder USA, and we're here doing our virtual survey conference, obviously because of the coronavirus. So we want to make sure that we're it's all slathered up. All slathered up. And I'm Jeff. I'm uh, the founder and CEO of Lighter USA, and we're just glad you can take a few minutes of your day and we can show you some of our key products that we have. So this is the Teledyne Optic CL360. So this is our Snoopy. So we have this, uh, the new laser from Teledyne Optic, which is CL360. It is a 10 millimeter accuracy system and a five millimeter precision. What's nice about it is it's capable of a 360 degree scan. And it's, um, it has a beam divergence of 0.3 MRAD. And uh, Jeff, what's one of the features that you like most about the CL360? Well, that the MRAD really is milliradians, but just for you. Anyhow, uh, no, I really do like this little this scanner. I was going to say little, it's not so little. Uh, it's a little bigger than, let's say, the Regal Box. But what's nice about this is that this scanner, A, we can get them in numbers, and uh, it's made in North America, which is kind of a nice feature. But it's kind of a combination of, I hate to say this, we sell the Regals also, but it's a combination of all three of the Regal boxes, the UAV, the HA, and the LR. It has a lot of the attributes of each one of those. I mean, it has 500 kilohertz data rate and a spin rate of 250 hertz. So it gives you a nice, really fine line spacing, okay? And at the same time, if we put this on a car and mount it like six, seven feet high in the back of a car and we scan on a road, from our experience, my experience with this, I'm getting data that's plus or minus a hundredth of a foot which is really amazing. That's we can do, we can do pretty much anything we want with this scanner. And then we still have range of, you know, a couple hundred meters easy on a car. Cause you can't really see that far in a car, you know, for the most part of it, but it's nice. It's a very nice. And it's small enough that we can then take it and put it on UAV. So this system is about five kilograms, which still makes it quite capable to be mounted onto the DJI M600, which is still the most common drone that's available on the market for industrial applications. But if you want to do something that's more than 10 or 15 minutes, we have drones that are capable of doing that as well. We have the Galaxy 950, which is a helicopter. It's got about a 45 minute flight time. Um, we also have the Harris Hybrid that has basically a two hour flight time. Um, can carry both the scanner and a camera combination. So like all the rest of our systems, these systems are capable of having both photogrammetry and LiDAR collected at the same time. Um, as I mentioned before, this is the A6000. It's probably the most common camera that we pair with it, but you can easily use the A7R, the Centera multi-spectral. Um, if you have one of the larger drones, you could probably put the phase one 50 millimeter, um, mm -hmm. 50 megapixel as well. And what's nice about this is not only can you put it on a drone, then you can put it on a kind of helicopter. So you, cause you can fly higher. Cause I think this has like a 630, me, uh, 630 meter AGL capability, which is a lot. Okay, that gets us up pretty quite high. Uh, you're not gonna be going there with a the, with the drone, but with an air, aircraft, yes, manned aircraft, you can definitely do it. I mean, and it gives good coverage. It has good uh, intensity return. That's what's really nice is when we use some of those less expensive systems, you throw away the intensity. So as you get farther away, get lifted up, you know, your targets, it doesn't matter how big the target is. I've done it where I put like an eight foot white target on a paved road. And when you get over 50 meters high, 50 meters or higher, like using a Velodyne scanner, the intensity is gone. The target disappears. This guy maintains the target intensity, which is really nice. I really like it. Um, I like the versatility of it. I think this scanner is going to go a long way. It's going to be able to do a lot of things with it. Um, the accuracy, spin rate. We have a lot of people that ask us, the point density is so high. So it's somewhere around five to 600 points a square meter. People ask us all the time, why is that important? Why is that not overkill? To explain why that point density High is High point density? Important. Well, number one is because a lot of contracts call for it. That'd be my first reason. <laughs> but it is important if you're doing curve and gutter work and you're looking for kind of looking for cracks and things. Uh, if you're on rail and you want to see if the rails interchanges, you know, each little rail jumps and stuff like that, you need the high density. You need high density in the line, you need high density on the ground to really be able to see what, what we're trying to model. I mean, that's it. And the nice thing I want to say about these, you know, actually about all our systems is we kind of follow the IoT of things, you know, Internet of Things. So we can take each one of these, we, we can model them together as two or three. Okay, so it's Internet of Things. We can put them together on a vehicle. And that's so you have, you have this now a butterfly set up 
which is actually quite a popular system. So now you've got like a really good high speed rail kind of mapping system or a good roadway system without having all the blind spots. While one scanner is really nice, you get blind spots from signs and billboards and cars. But if you have two of them on it, it really reduces from the butterfly effect. Um, and so it's just very popular, but yet you can take it off and use them individually when you need to. Yep. If you don't need to use them. That's really what we tell people is the versatility of the system is, is amazing. Um, the picture behind me shows, but you can't see it. Um, it's got the dual configuration and it also has a 360 camera in the middle. So we use a couple of different versions of the 360 camera. We have one that's a 30 megapixel camera and we have the other one that's a 60 megapixel. Um, depends on what your application is as to which one is the most beneficial, but they both basically accomplish the mission of colorizing your point cloud. The bottom line is this is a really nice little system. We think it's going to be the workhorse for the high accuracy uh, survey grade, people who need that 100, 200 through a foot type of work, uh, need a super high point density. This is going to be the system of choice. It's priced right. It's not the highest priced product on the market and it's available. So you said it. Nice. It's the elephant in the room, which is price. How does this compare with, let's just face it, the competitors. So the competitors, the Regal Lux, and we actually have a special that we're running um, probably through the end of the year that will price this um, very competitively um, just just above the, the actual the Regal Mini Vux. Mm -hmm. um, so you basically get the value of what you can get with the Vux at the same price as the Mini Vux. So um, definitely reach out to our sales managers for more information on that special. But uh, we, we, think, we think this will be an amazingly popular system for the rest of the year. So we thank you for attending. We hope you learned something and we hope it picked your curiosity and uh, give us a holler. Wash your hands. <laughs>